What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Finally, after a long wait, Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update for the Galaxy S23 series. And this is the S23 Ultra, which has received a huge update of more than one GB. Now let me just go to the settings and go to the software section and tap on the last update. I have already updated the device. As you can see, this update is very huge. The size is about 1.3 GB. And uh, this comes with a security patch for August 2023. And this updates adds a couple of new options or features on the camera application. In this video, I'm gonna show you all those changes which we have got. I'm not sure whether these changes are available on the S23 regular and S23 plus or not. If you own those devices after watching this video, do let me know in the comment section whether you have got these additional features on the camera application or not. Now in the change log, it doesn't talk much. It just talks about the stability and reliability, security of the device and the bug fixes as well. Now let's dive in, let's open camera application now, as you can see in photos, as well as in video, we just have 1x, 3x, and 10x. As you can see on photos also, we have got 1x, 3x, and 10x optical zoom. And uh, we have got this 0.6 wide angle option as well. Now, these are all the optical zoom options we have got on both photos and video section. Now, uh, let me go to the settings. Now here, if you have already installed camera assistant application, you will be able to see camera assistant option here. I've already installed the app, so I'm getting this camera assistant option here. I'll just tap on this. All the options from the camera assistant application will be shown up right here inside the default camera application, as you can see. Now on the top, you can see this is a brand new toggle we have got after getting this huge update on the S23 Ultra. As you can see, it says optical quality crop zoom, add a 2X zoom option to camera. The zoom is cropped from the high resolution sensor, so it's as good as an optical lens. So when you enable this toggle, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add an additional option for 2X zoom for the video as well as for the photos. Now let me just enable this and let's go back to the uh, camera application. Here it is, as you can see, we have got 0.6, 1X, and we have got this brand new 2X option. Then we have 3X and 10X. Now let's go to video. Again, here you can see 1X, 2X, 3X, and 10X. Now this 2X is the brand new option which has been added with this all new update. And the image quality will be as good as an optical zoom when you tap on 2X. Now before this update, if you wanted to zoom 2X, then you had to manually do it by using this zoom slider. And when you manually zoom it to 2X, the image quality wasn't that great. Now with this option, Samsung says that the image quality and the video quality will be as good as an optical 3X or 10X zoom because this 2X is using the large 200 megapixel sensor we already have on the phone to offer a better image quality. You can go ahead and try it yourself to check out the video as well as the photo quality at 2X after updating your phone. Now this is a great option which Samsung has added along with this new update. Now apart from this, when we tap on more and go to portrait video option, on the top I could see an orange dot right here after updating the phone, which means we have got a new option here. Now we can see we got full HD when I tap on this. We also have ultra HD option for portrait videos. And I'm not sure whether these options were available earlier or not. Since there was an orange dot right here, I'm guessing that either the ultra HD option or the full HD option was a new addition for portrait video mode. You let me know if you have not updated your phone yet, when you go to portrait video, whether you are seeing these ultra HD and full HD options or not, drop a comment. Now, apart from this, there are some minor tweaks on the camera application, which may not matter much in real life. Now, I would also like to remind you guys that with the last update we received on the S23 Ultra, the July security patch, Samsung added another option here on the portrait mode uh, here you can see we have got 1x 2x and 3x earlier we just had 1x and 3x and samsung added this 2x option as well when we received the update last month now this shows samsung's commitment to enhance the user experience by adding new features with every new update kudos to samsung for doing that now apart from these new features uh, the stability and reliability of the device has been improved the security of the device has also been improved now when it comes to this particular phone the S23 Ultra, it has been doing really great. I've been using this phone on the light performance mode always and the battery performance is more than one and a half days easily. I charged this phone to 100% yesterday morning and as you can see today morning, it's 8, 10 a.m. and I'm still left with 26% 
and I will be able to use this phone for another few hours easily. So one and a half days of uh, battery life with light performance mode with uh, moderate to heavy usage, this phone is just fantastic. As far as the stability is concerned, there is no issue so far, uh, no hanging or stuttering issues. It's been working smoothly and animations are pretty smooth as well. And it looks like after this update, the animations are slightly snappier than before. As you can see, it is slightly snappier. Uh, it looks like it is at 0.5x animation scale. It has definitely changed a bit. That is something to note here. Now that's all I want to share with you guys. You let me know whether you have received the update or not. If you haven't received yet, you can just go to the settings, tap on software update and tap on download and install. If the update is available in your region, it is going to show up right here and you can go ahead and install it. And yeah, let me know how is the battery performance on your S23 Ultra or any of the other phones that you're using. Mention your phone model and let me know how is the battery performance what's the screen on time you're getting and also let me know which country are you commenting from that would be interesting that's all i want to share with you guys i hope you are already a subscriber on apex if you haven't subscribed already go ahead hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye